Wrestling fans, welcome back to another exciting episode of New Heights Wrestling Television. I'm your host, Jonathan Broyles. In this week's episode, we're going to see two colossal men, Scarface Waylon Barley takes on the stainless Michael Steele. Michael Steele, you have a huge, tremendously big match coming up with Scarface Waylon Barley. The, 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 the question is, do you think that you can win? Absolutely. That's what I came here to do. I came back to New Heights Strassen to prove that I can be a champion, to prove everything I learned overseas, everything I've learned all around this country, is to make myself the number one man in this sport. If I have to go through Waylon Barley, if I have to go through everybody on this roster, that's what I'm going to do to prove my point. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Steele making a strong comeback to New Heights Wrestling. Stay tuned as we find out if Michael Steele can deliver his strong words to Waylon Barley. Wrestling fans, joining me right now, we're outside the arena, and I've caught up with Christopher Slade. Um, Chris, I, I just have to tell you, I am, I'm very sorry for what Hoss Bryan has, has done. Uh, what, what are your thoughts? Where are we going from here? What, what's going on, man? Uh... Quite frankly, I don't know where to go, where to go from here. Um, but Haas Bryant, you're something else, man. Not only were you my manager, my mentor, my you were like a brother. And I got stabbed in the back, but I should have knew it the whole time. Like I made a deal with the devil. That's what I did. And I just want to say one thing to Zane Stevens. I'm sorry for what I've done to you and Emily, your family. It should have never happened in the first place, but I, I just, I'm sorry. I'm happy for you. Wrestling fans, there we have it. You, uh, you see, it, it's really eating at Christopher Slade. Uh, wrestling fans, I don't know where we're going to go from here, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, the, the relationship between Christopher Slade and Haas Bryan is, is completely torn. It's, it's rent. It's not going to be put back together anytime soon. Stay, fan, stay tuned, fans, as we, as we see more New Heights Wrestling action and, and we see what develops here with Christopher Slade. Welcome back, wrestling fans. My name is Jonathan Broyles, joined with none other than the voice, Justin Michaels. That's right. Do you see this behind you, Broyles? Whoa. Whoa. Extreme that is God. some weird, wacky stuff right there. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It is definitely, definitely, uh, exactly. Oh, hey. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he got a friend there. A, uh, <laughs> that is a snake. And if you'll excuse me, I now have to go to the restroom. Control wow. yourself. Uh, Tweedle Don, ladies and gentlemen, and none other than Wayne Van Dyke coming to us, both of them. Uh, Tweedle D, uh, sorry, Tweedle Die, Wayne. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a flabbergasted because of the snake. Look at the size of that guy as well. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 665 pounds, him alone. Um, side there. Michael Patrick, Ray Ayala. Michael Patrick's no stranger to the scene. Ray Ayala. Now, Ray Ayala, that's old school wrestling at its finest. He comes straight out of the Malenko school. So, you know, Ray Ayala, Michael Patrick, they're a couple of tough customers. But on the other side of the ring, wow, there's a freak show going on over there, Broyles. Uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, fans, I am, uh, I am as, as the tights of Tweedledine say, I am freaked. <laughs> uh, it's it's as, 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 I, I'm flabbergasted still from the from the look around. You you scared me, voice. That's not fair. 
This is definitely going to be one that's uh, that's going to be for the record books. We have um, from the screw screw eyes eccentric surface. Uh, surface Professor Screw Eyes Eccentric Sir. Thank you, voice. Now I can't say it. Look what I you're know. doing to me. I, I'm telling you. It's it's one thing. Uh, it looks like we're going to have uh, Ray Ayala starting us off and, and perhaps Wayne Van Dyke, uh, ladies and gentlemen, will start us off. And, the strong man. That is so. This. Look, now the fans are giving Wayne Van Dyke a hard time here. He's not happy with the way the fans are treating him. He sent that belt a flying, didn't he? He has worked a long, long time to become the world's one of the world's strongest men. And this is the this is the way he gets treated by the New Heights wrestling fans. Well, if the fans don't like you, the fans don't like you. That's all there is to say. They obviously have no respect for hard work. Or perhaps they have no respect for uh, sideshow gimmicks. What are you talking know. about? These, these two, these two. I don't know. I, they, I think that's how they. I'm just saying. Well, no, I, I think that's how they go shopping during the day. They, they, these guys, they, this is it. This isn't just you know another day. They, no, this is just another day for them. You don't understand. They, their lifestyle, the face paint, the weird and wacky clothes. They're, they're called a freak show for a reason. They're 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 called the sideshow syndicate for a reason. This isn't just a one night deal. These guys are weird and freaky all the time. Well, I, I will say, voice. This is a uh, a real. Um, a real treat that uh, the 665 pound monster Tweedledee has found a, a tag team partner in this guy Wayne Van Dyke. And uh, if you'll recall, the last time we saw Wayne Van Dyke in action, he was nearly decapitated by our own psycho Paul Jordan. Uh, you know, Jordan just caught him off guard. You know, Van Dyke was posing. He was trying to give the fans a treat. Posing what? Come on, Sparky. Look at that guy's physique. Ah. It's beautiful. Well. I did some research uh, on, on Tweedledee and learned that he spent, a, you know, quite a bit of time touring uh, North America with the carnival, and that's where he was discovered by a wrestling promoter. And we actually have some photos of him. If you'll look for just one second, check this out, fans. Let's see. And look at this one. Uh, now, now this guy Van Dyke. I don't think he ever worked uh, as a strong man anywhere. I uh, well, he know. works as a strong man everywhere because he's a strong man. It doesn't matter if you're getting paid to do it. If you're a strong man, Sparky, you're a strong man. Strong. Right now, okay, maybe he's not looking so strong, uh, but Ray Ayala's yeah. got him all twisted up. Uh, on, a, on his stomach is is Wayne Van Dyke, and, and that's what you call a strong man picking up those. I'm not sure how many how many pounds those were. Maybe. Oh, I'm sure those are really heavy. I mean, I, I, you, you you probably couldn't even get them off the floor. They're heavier than they look. You can pick them up with your silver tongue, yeah? No, you know it. You know it. Yeah, speaking of my silver tongue, I look at the, I don't know if the camera's getting shot at this. Do you see this over here, Broyles? There's one voice that they can do without. You know what? I think that's a shame because I think you do a fine job. I, I think they're talking about you, actually. You're, you're out of your mind, Sparky. Yeah, absolutely. Please. I don't know. Maybe we can get the camera to, to focus in on that one because that fan, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that fan has a down pat. Well, right now, Ray Ayali, Ray Ayala, excuse me, has got Wayne Van Dyke down pat. Hat. And uh, Wayne Van Dyke might want to get over and get a tag from the big man over there, Tweedle Die. If that guy isn't a mountain and a half, I don't know what is. There you go. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about. Wayne Van Dyke showing that strong physique, those those large muscles. Oh! And then just getting thrown away by Ray Alla is the uh, the strong man, Wayne Van Dyke. It happens. That's all right. He's going to recover. You know what? Oh! Oh, 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 oh my. And gentlemen. Ray Ayala showing a little uh, physique of his own. I don't think it quite matches up to the stature of Wayne Van Dyke, but he gave it a he gave it a valiant effort. Uh, absolutely, I'll tell you one thing. He put Ray Ray Van Dyke to the flat of his back in the turnbuckles here, and now here we go. Ray Ayala is setting up, maybe just wasting a little bit too much time. But there comes a. Now I, I think Van Dyke should be getting. He should be running over and getting a tag. Maybe get a breather, put the big guy in there. But he's going to go ahead and test out Michael Patrick here, freshman getting in the ring, and see what he. He's got to offer. Well, 
Ray Van Dyke calling for a, uh, a little bit of a strong Oh, chance. this is a, he knows, smart, smart wrestling here. He knows he's one of the strongest men in the world. And if he can get Michael Patrick to go ahead and give this a shot, it's an easy upper hand for Wayne Van Dyke. Well, speaking of upper hand, you can see that the upper hand in height goes to none other than Michael Patrick. What did I tell you? You see that? See that? Did you see the stomp of the toes? No, I, I what do you, no, I'm sorry. Exactly. Who's the, what toes? What? Yes, my point exactly. Michael Patrick being caught off guard. Now look at here. Oh. Wayne Van Dyke being put in his place by Patrick. Off the other side. Look at that. Taking the hands and just wrenching them off of the off body near about. Wayne Van Dyke. You sure he didn't get a handful of hair there? No. What hair? Where? He has no hair. He's like me. <laughs> you got that I, right, Baldy Locks. I got it before you did, man. <laughs> That's all right. I'm always there to, to give it a little oomph, a little extra oomph. That's exactly what I need. Van Dyke now on his uh, on his rear in the center of the ring now being picked up with a big scoop, scoop slam, taking down Van Dyke is Patrick. I think you're right now, though. Van Dyke really desperately needs to get that tag in. Yeah, to, I would. Uh, I am actually because I'm not just. But, Look now, at this. We, we, I can't strong man can't uh, pick up Michael no, Patrick. No, no, I, no. You see a handful of tights there is what happened. I think Michael Patrick might have got some tights or something. Uh, I believe all, with all of our camera angles. You're, oh, whoa, oh, did you see that? that? Party oh, time here God. at New Heights Wrestling. For <laughs> an object to the face of Michael Patrick. Fans, there's a tag. In comes Die. To the oh. now. Look at that. Ray Van Dyke going to the outside, pulling the throat of Patrick across that top rope. Now the big boot, right boot going into the throat. How much did you say this guy weighs again? 665 pounds at weigh-in. Oh my. He's got to have a lot of power. And then when he put that foot on his head, when he put that foot on Michael Patrick's head, oh, right, just like that. That's like, I mean, that's like three regular guys putting all that weight upon you. He is huge, massive. I can't even think. Of, there's so many, and so many adjectives I can think of to describe how large that man is. Well, you, but I can't get through them all because we'll be here all night. Yeah. Well, with you talking, we will. That's for sure. Fans, he, uh, look at the blatant choke on the outside using the ring rope, that middle rope, to choke Michael Patrick. In comes Ray Alala, but he's not doing his partner any good. Meanwhile, Tweedle Die on the other side. Irish rip off the arrow. There's a big clothesline taking Patrick down to the ground. I think he still had a little bit of that party sauce on his face, and Wayne Van Dyke was just trying to clean some of it off. I think that's all it oh, was. Is that what it was? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. I'll tell you one thing. We've, we've got uh, another tag there as Van Dyke comes in. You said, and I quote, that you believe that, that uh, the Tweedledye has a lot of power there. I'll tell you one thing he has, and it's the weight advantage. If the big guy were to be able to take him and, and squish or squash, however you're going to say it, uh, Patrick down to the ground, I don't believe he'd be able to kick out from that pinfall. Oh, I think you're correct. Tweedledye would have a weight advantage on a mobile home. Uh, that, look at yes. that. He barely fits through those ropes. I mean, he almost would have to get somebody to help him over the top or something. Get one of those little lifts or something. Look at that. The big man picking up Patrick. Woo, I'm surprised that ring didn't break. And Patrick is no small man. Oh, no, he is not. He is no small man by any means. Little die methodically stalking Patrick. What are we going to go for here? Again, I told you, if we... He, he ought to cover him. He, he really ought to cover him here. Yeah, Michael Patrick, is he's, he's pushing 300 pounds there. So, yeah, definitely still no easy feat. But Tweed will die over twice that. And there we go. Wayne Van Dyke gets the tag, and he's going to make himself way back into the ring and gets a nice shot on Michael Patrick, who now, at this point, there we go. Now, he's trying to reach over, but I don't know how much left Michael Patrick has left. Look at Rayala. He's reaching his hand out for Patrick. Patrick turning to the wrong direction. He does not have a clue where he is right this moment. Van Dyke's going upstairs. Oh, yes, he is. He's going into the middle turn. Look at that. Blowing a kiss to the lovely lady in the front oh! row, and he paid for it. Big boot catching. Catching uh, Wayne Van Dyke showing off. Whoa, like a freight train. Ayala with that lariat and back elbow, taking the head nearly off. Shades of that Jordan adventure that he had last time. Big back body drop, taking Van Dyke down to the canvas fans. Now Ayala picking him up. What a suplex. Big suplex, throwing it away. Ayala now has regained control for his team there along there with Michael Patrick. A but the tag. referee's going to allow this. There, there was a tag. That see? was a tag. Tweedledye's coming in behind. I don't know if these guys know what's happening behind them. They're uh, so wrapped up on Wayne Van Dyke. What a leg drop by Ayala. I don't think. I know. He I, has I no clue. 
<laughs> Absolutely. He, Ayala does not know that Tweedledee is the legal man in this, in this match right now. It all happened so fast, but the ref caught it. That's the important thing. And Tweedledee, he's going to send Patrick outside to the floor. Yeah, get him outside and let's take care of uh, Van Dyke. What? Oh, I what's mean, this? Uh, sorry, Ayala. But wait a second. No! Oh, my! Taking that three-pound dumbbell to the head of Ayala. And now, no, 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 oh my, the ring move, pin one, two, three, That's I it. told you fans, I told you fans, if, if Tweedledee ever got, if Tweedledee ever put his weight on the, on the, on the canvas uh, of the man, he would not kick out, that's exactly what happened boys. That's all it took right there, I tell you what, I think Ray Ayala just lost about 25 pounds because it got squished right out of him. Absolutely <laughs> fans, thanks for joining us. your way from New Heights Wrestling Television. Don't forget to join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash New Heights Wrestling and New Heights Wrestling.com. Paid no attention to this guy. He's a poser. Stay tuned, fans. I'm beautiful. Jesus. <laughs> This match. That's all. Uh, what are you so excited for? It's just Waylon Barley and Michael Steele. Oh, you heard me right, fans. The return of stainless Michael Steele in this arena. That's not what I'm excited about. You're excited about Barley? Why shouldn't I be? Well, he is a titan of a man, I'll tell you that right this moment. Wrestling fans, the big story here is the return of stainless Michael Steele. Really? Did, did it make front page news? Yeah, absolute front page news. Do you realize that during his absence from New Heights Wrestling, Michael still has been working in Japan, honing his craft, becoming a better person, becoming a better wrestler. Michael Steele was. You sure he wasn't in Japan just because, you know, nobody wanted him here? I'll tell it's you. It's a thought. Well, Simmer on that. I'll think about that for a little bit. Meanwhile, wrestling fans, we're going to have good action here. We're going to see uh, stainless Michael Steele going as one of the titans, uh, one of the uh, former tag team champions, former NHW heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, Waylon Barley. Scarface Waylon Barley. Absolutely. Just don't put that past him. But uh, as you can see, there's no Danny Jack. No Danny Jack on the ringside. Waylon Barley putting an end to that that uh, that that teamwork there. The uh, the team of Waylon Barley and Danny's Interesting. Danny Jack doesn't exist anymore. Interesting, interesting to say the least, Mr. Sparky. Uh, so Michael Steele, uh, all the way back from Japan. Yeehaw! What what a main event, ladies and gentlemen. What a main event. Are, are you excited? Of course I'm excited. Yes, yeah, it's a colossal matchup. We uh, we're we're gonna see the uh, huge, huge match voice between between none other than Waylon Barley and New Heights' very own comic book hero, the stainless one, stainless Michael Steele. And we have seen it before, and we're now seeing it again. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I'm seeing. Is that a big mountain of a man? Well, I, you know, I, I can't take these, these guys actually are pretty close to size here. But Waylon Barley... Yeah, he's got that, oh, he's got that mean streak right there. That's what I'm talking about. Did you hear the chop? I heard it, and I felt it. I felt it, voice. I like the mean streak. Yeah, I, where, where is this going? You like, you like, you like. Have, well, I'm just saying, Have you? are you familiar with pro wrestling? It takes a lot of grit, determination, and, yeah, sometimes just a little bit of meanness to succeed in this business. And you know what? I know what Waylon Barley has, and he's got all of that. What about Michael Steele? Did you see the repeated chops on his end, taking down Barley? Barley's now on the floor. Of his back. I don't know. You were distracting me. I see this pinfall attempt by uh, Waylon Barley. You got a, almost a two count. I did see that. Lo siento. I'm, I'm very sorry. Look at it's happening again. There it is. Ah, uh, look at it. It's it amazing been... the uh, the sight that you have when you want to have it. 
I, I see just fine. I don't even I don't even wear glasses. Maybe you ought to. Maybe maybe we need to get something to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you just have something wrong where you you can't pay attention during certain parts of the match. I don't know. What'd you say? Exactly. Barley now back where he uh, he's been for most of this matchup now on the flat of his back in this interview. Yeah, cause it, you know I, you know you're distracting me here, but I'm sure Michael Steele probably had a trick up his sleeve. Probably had a little pull of the beard there or something. Yeah, he probably learned that dirty trick in Japan. <laughs> oh, did you see that? I saw that. That's what I'm talking about right there. Waylon Barley, the power, getting the big Michael Steele up off of the yeah. feet. Two cat only. The that's how quick. That's how quick it in. It could end just like that. The ring moved. Did you see? The ring just came up off of the ground when that man went when, when Barley hit the hit the canvas. Well these guys, both these guys, are not small in stature. Very tall, very large, muscular, big men. And yeah, when you've got about no, oh, let's see, about 600, 650 pounds combined in that ring, and it all comes crashing down, things are gonna move. Uh, yes, they will. Look at that. You see, look. Move. Do you see Michael that right there? Steel Michael Steele is to the corner. No, not just moving, crawling, groveling his way over to that rope because he's had just about enough. He's had just about as much as he can handle of Scarface Waylon Barley, and I'm liking it. Big forearm to the side of the head of Steele, stopping him in his tracks. Now look at that. Look. Stepping to the ropes. Exactly. Choking him is more alive. Oh. No, I think that was an accident. That was probably... He slipped on a banana peel. And it's, yeah, was there one over there? Good, good eye. Good eye, Broyles. I didn't see the banana peel, but I'm glad you caught it. And now Barley taking it to Michael Steele. Michael Steele in the corner. Oh, the Steele sweat is the flying right here onto us. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think you're enjoying it a little too much. Barley telling the referee to get out of the face. Get out of here. He was says. he biting him? Was he biting him? <laughs> He's eating his face off. That is an evil laugh if I've ever heard one. Was I laughing? I'm sorry. Oh! Look at that. <laughs> Did you see the rear? The rear of Waylon Barr. I tell you what, I saw it, but I didn't get quite the bird's eye view that Michael Steele did. Oh, my. This could be all right here. He knows exactly what he ate for breakfast this morning. I can tell you that. <laughs> he can at least smell it. Wrestling fans. Michael Steele, Waylon Barley. Yep, Michael Steele, still flat on his back, Sparky. What you got to say about that? Uh, you're, well, you're, you're, all that, with all that Japanese stuff he did over there, how's that helping him right now? Konnichiwa. <laughs> yeah, he's about to say, is that, I hope that, is that, if that's goodbye, that's what he's about to say. I don't remember what it is. I was just saying the words that I They're know. just making sounds over there now. Stop babbling. Look at the headbutt. Oh, that big noggin of Waylon Barley just crashed in the face of Michael Steele, and it, it, it almost popped like a coconut. Beautiful, beautiful. I think I'll just let you talk for the rest of this matchup. It, it gives me a break, a breather. Go ahead. Let's, let's hear what you have to say. And there it is. Now, oh, shut your mouth, Royals. Another big coconut pop. Boom, boom, boom. Right to the face. I think you're in love. I see Cupid's arrow right now. Pin one, two. Ladies and gentlemen, two count only. Waylon Barley with that big leg drop, taking and holding way, uh, Michael Steele down on the canvas, fans. You keep asking me, you know, why I, I, I tend to take notice here, Mr. Scarface Waylon Barley. Have you not been watching this match? I'm Have you watching. not seen what's been going on in this match? Michael Steele, I don't think, has gotten an offensive maneuver off in, in, in a good four minutes. Finally, finally gets an elbow shot to the breadbasket there. Repeated elbows to the uh, to the midsection of Waylon Barley. Waylon now rocking on his on, on the ropes. Michael Steele, here he comes. Whoa, look at there. Look at there. Look at there, Waylon Barley now. Look at it. Look at his face. Wait, hold up. Barley's got a... Oh, Barley, turn around, Barley. No, be quiet. Don't what are you this. talking about? Here we go, Michael Steele. Oh, oh, oh my. Taking down Waylon Barley to the pit. One, one, two. Fans, so close to a three count. So close to the three count. Boy, high cross body off the top. I even think he caught a little bit of a knee there right to the jaw. It was just uh, had disaster written all over for Waylon Barley. But I tell you what, you saw what just happened. He's still kicked out there. He's still in this fight. That he is. He is definitely in the fight, as is Michael Steele, wrestling fans. Don't count him out just yet. Here we shot go after shot right there in that corner. Referee calling for, uh, for a break from the corner. Barley gives it to him. I got to admit, at least it was, uh, he, he gave him a, a oh! chance. No! Whoa! Barley misses, but still does not. There's a pin. One, two, oh, three! Three! What just happened? Three, three, three! 
like a, I didn't, no, what, Marley can't believe it, I can't believe it, that was ridiculous, what just happened? The referee is running for his life, that's what happened, wrestling fans, that shouldn't have happened, that should not have happened. I'll tell you one thing, Michael Steele pulling over a win, pulling the wool, if you will, over the eyes of the sleeping giant. Look, you see, Barley? Barley is not a happy man, and he shouldn't be. No, absolutely he is. You got lucky, Sam. That's exactly right. He's telling Michael Steele that he got lucky, and that's exactly what he... Michael Steele, the stainless one, catching Marley while he's sleeping, picking over the win. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see, my colleague is not extremely happy about this one. He's gone. Well, no, because, look, Waylon Barley is one of, he's one of the, the most exciting, athletic, large, anything you can think of, awesome. He's one of the top guys here at New Heights Wrestling, and, and for that to happen in that ring, it, it, it just just wasn't right. You see him coming. You see him coming I by here. I coming. I'm saying over here. Wrestling fans, no, you, you don't, don't miss the action. Hold on. You here. know what? I know. I got to. Hold on. Wait. 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 Michael. Wait, wait, wait. Voice. Wait, wait. Help comes and goes so quickly around here. Wrestling fans, stay tuned to the action. We're going to have more for you. Watch us on the uh, Netflix. Uh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, watch us. Look on Facebook.com slash New Heights Wrestling. New Heights Wrestling.com. Stay tuned to the action. Where is Michaels going? Wrestling fans, you saw it here first on New Heights Wrestling Television. The mountain of a man, Scarface, the Titan, Waylon Barley, taking on none other than Michael Steele. And you know, Voice, what was unexpected to me was that, that Michael Steele came out on top in that matchup. Yeah, the operative word there was unexpected, okay? Waylon Barley, Scarface Waylon Barley, was out there working his tail off. I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't see Dandy Jack anywhere at ringside, okay? And somehow, someway, boom, in the blink of an eye, Michael Steele gets the victory. It happened so fast, I'm not even sure how it happened, to be honest with you. I'll tell you one thing, because Michael... he got lucky. Let me explain this to you, and let me explain it to everyone out there watching. The guy got lucky. Michael Steele's like all these other meatheads coming to New Heights all of a sudden, wanting to make a name for himself. Listen, boy, I'm not your stepping stone. Go I looked... Face, go face. We got to get the band together. Remember the money. Remember the fine porterhouse steaks that we made on the Dandy Jack Grill, which is available online. <laughs> and remember the limos and the ladies. And I know you like limos. <laughs> Scarface Waylon Barley having uh, Dandy Jack. That's quite an offer, fans. I don't know, Voice. What do you make of that? Limos. 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 Everyone's going crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to New Heights Wrestling for more fantastic action and the limos.